We have Chris Gondron with Home Bank joining us today with more tips on how you can protect yourselves. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Okay, tell us uh, the, the top things that we need to remember when it comes to protecting our private information. Yes, so basically what you want to do is make sure that you, you keep that information secure. Um, <clears throat> bad, act, bad actors could use that information to steal your identity, and from that they can open up financial accounts, whether it might be loans or credit cards. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one, one thing also is if, if that were to happen, if you were to be a victim of identity theft, it could be very difficult to recover from. It could take a lot of time, a lot of stress, and it can be also be a financial burden too. Yeah, so those are some of the risks, risks that come with uh, maybe not keeping that private information very secure, but what are some ways that we can better protect ourselves? Um, some tips for strengthening you know, our, our wall against uh, the bad people out yeah. here. So first thing I'd like to tell people is just to be, be aware of where your information is. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of accounts. We have a lot of online accounts, whether they're banking accounts, social media accounts. Um, for, the, for those social media accounts, make sure you, you check your privacy settings and try and restrict what type of information you share with the general public. Mm -hmm. Also for like your financial accounts, bank accounts, um, you want to try and set up alerts. These alerts can notify you for anything. I mean, there's many different ones that you can set. For example, uh, I have some that whenever my, uh, like a transaction on my bank account reaches a certain threshold, um, it'll send me a text message to notify me. Also, mm -hmm. if, if like every time I log into my online banking or whatnot, I get text messages that notify me. So mm -hmm. if I didn't perform those transactions or log in, I would get notified and that right. way I can take action. Yeah, so that's um, a little bit about the digital aspect of things, because most things are digital nowadays, yes. as we know. But for those folks who might still have paper documents, what do we need to be doing with those? Sure, you want to make sure you keep those documents secure. Um, you know, this could be any type of uh, paper statements, financial statements, mm -hmm. any medical documents, social security cards, passports. Keep those secure. And also be, a, be aware of the information that they contain, for example, mail, right? So if you get a utility bill, it has like an account, a utility <laughs> account, um, you, you don't want to throw those away. What you want to do is you want to shred them mm -hmm. before you throw them away. Because even though it is not going to have any a lot of information to, to um, steal your identity, what the bad guys will do is they'll take little bits and pieces of that information. They might say, hey, we see your last utility bill was X amount. Right. And so now they got your comfort because mm -hmm. you're like, yeah, that's right. So yeah. you want to make sure that that doesn't get into the hands of, of, of the bad actors. Yeah, I want to make sure we are securing those paper documents as well as our digital information online. These are a few ways that you can do that. Some tips from the folks at Home Bank to learn more about uh, different ways that you can protect your privacy. Visit one of those two websites on the bottom of your screen.